Dear Editor, Last week, I received a phone call from the school guidance counselor that my daughter, who is in the sixth grade, is failing ELA, English Language Arts. My initial thought was, that's strange, the child loves to write stories and has a clear grasp of her native language. After a few days of phone tag, my husband and I scheduled a meeting with the counselor and teachers. This meeting told us nothing. My child is failing none of her classes. Either a miracle happened in a week's time, the child is brilliant and recovered the grade quickly, or I was lied to. The teachers and counselor were more concerned about my daughter's organizational skills. The majority of the meeting was spent with them complaining of a messy locker and backpack. The science teacher's biggest grievance was that my daughter could have a grade of 98, while now she merely has a grade of 91. What exactly is the problem? We were instructed to sign up for the school's e-school home access in order to, quote, check her grades nightly, end quote. I'm sure many parents find this helpful, however, I find the thought horrifying. Grades are the enemy of exploration, placing immense value on a number that becomes insignificant once a person is no longer in school is silly. I prefer my children to have a love of learning, not a fear of a possible bad grade. How can I explain to people who work for this useless bureaucracy that grades are arbitrary, school's real function in the world is obedience training, and that I am a peaceful parent who refuses to micromanage every action my children take? My goal is not to insult the teachers or guidance counselor. I understand why they feel their jobs are valuable. They are victims of compulsory schooling like everyone else. Ask anyone you know how much of what you learned in K-12 through do you remember. I guarantee the question will be met with a resounding nothing or very little. If school is not teaching us how to learn and instead is telling us what to learn, poorly, I might add, then what's the point? The point is this. Respect authority, remain obedient, put up with a job in a corporation that you hate because, quote, we all have to do things we don't want to sometimes, end quote, as the ELA teacher stated to my daughter. This mindset is toxic, and I wish no human were ever told these words. None of our existences are contingent upon living up to someone else's expectations. Could my daughter have better grades? Sure. Does she or I care that she has only a 79 in ELA? Not one bit. I want my children to be happy and to cherish their ability to learn. Numerical grades are nonsense and only measure a child's ability to regurgitate the indoctrination that is forced upon them. I can't say I support such a system and I hope someday more parents will share my perspective. I urge parents to read the book The Underground History of American Education by John Taylor Gatto, a former school teacher. It exposes the history of compulsory public school. A small warning, this book is not for the faint of heart. Please be in a strong mood if you decide to read it.